Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. If you want to see what focal length you shot a particular photo with in Lightroom, it's quite easy to do. If you um, select the, the photo you're interested in, and in the library module, on the right side, go to your metadata uh, drop down and make sure that uh, the EXIF data is being displayed. I've got mine on EXIF and IPTC, uh, but what you're interested in is, is the EXIF. And scroll down until you find the uh, focal length. And you can see that this one I shot at 215 millimeters. There are all sorts of other things you can find in here too. There's lots of useful information, but uh, focal length is right there. Now you can also See, right now I have uh, all of my photographs from this. This is my 2012 uh, catalog, and I've got all my photographs um, active right now. And I can go in here to the library filter to metadata. And um, let's see, I don't have focal length here right now, so uh, I'm not particularly interested in file type at the moment. So I'm going to click on those double arrows and go down here until I find focal length. And now I can see. Uh, every focal length that I have shot um, this year. And you can see that I have used a small camera with a 3.1 millimeter lens all the way up to the high end of, well, I've got unknown focal <laughs> length on 17 of them, uh, but 280 millimeters on 54, etc. Look going all the way down. Now, that's all fine and good. And I can, if I want to take a look, for example, at all the ones I took at 50 millimeters, I can just click on that. And that'll show that uh, most of these were got some portraits in here and uh, assorted other things. So, um, and then uh, with that filter active, I can also see what cameras they were all shot with. I can see what lenses they were shot with. Uh, if you don't have that um, displayed, you can uh, drop that open and select select that. So you can see that there are uh, three lenses I used to. Uh, shoot at 50 millimeters. Now suppose that you want to see all the ones that you shot in a particular focal length range. So um, with my camera, a normal lens uh, would be somewhere in the 50 millimeter range. It's a full fu full size 35 millimeter size sensor. So um, you know, normal might be say some from uh, the low 40s to the high uh, 50s, let's say. Uh, that range of focal lengths. I want to see everything I did in that range. So um, go over here to collections on the left side and we're going to create, click, click the plus sign there, we're going to create a new smart collection. So create smart collection and I'm going to call this um, shot with a oops, normal lens. And um, so I've actually already done it, so you can see the defaults are already set in here, but I'll just run through it with you. So we go to focal length here, and uh, is greater than or equal to is the choice I've made. And let's make it um, uh, 42. And then the second one, then we wanted to add, uh, so you click on that plus sign to get the second one here. And focal length is less than or equal to, and let's make it... 58. Now, if you, you if your camera has um, a smaller sensor, uh, as most digital SLRs do, then you may want to make it uh, somewhere on either side of 30. So, say from uh, 25 to 35, for example, or something like that. So, I'm going to click Create, and it's going to automatically open up that uh, filter. And so now it's showing me everything, and you can see the filter in here, it, uh, the uh, collection shot with a normal lens. And I've got how many of them? Let's see. Um, actually, it says right here, 1,576 that I shot with that. Now, we can go back up to the library filter up here and look at the distribution of them, look at what uh, lenses they were shot with, even what cameras they were shot with, um, what keywords are active on, the, on those particular um, uh, files. So those are various ways that you can look at... Um, the photos that you shot at particular focal lengths. Incidentally, to get out of this uh, this smart collection, the simplest thing to do is scroll up here to catalog and click on all photos. There you go. I hope that was helpful.